just instantaneous, right? That's you kind of want to, you kind of want to get to that hook. Where and when you do that, when you twitch and when you twitch and drop, right? You twitch and drop your punch. What happens is your feet momentarily get pressed into the deck, right? And you, you so when you when you think about this in your own practice, when you drop, just think about dropping one inch. Don't don't do this. Don't don't just to keep your skeleton long, so that when you drop, drop. Your, your bones are long, your feet get pressed into the deck, there's a back pressure that comes up your legs, right? Your lower body kind of fixes, but your upper body's still kind of collapsing, it's kind of collapsing, right? Here, it's kind of collapsing. What happens is your, your abdomen, like it's like a ball in here, and it squeezes, it goes boom, like that, okay? So instantaneously, instantaneously, you get, from that, you get that, you get this pop, right? So in thinking of it in terms of koshi, you get, you get a bounce, and, and believe it or not, when you, when you punch like that, you get the, the, that 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 pop, that pop up here. It ends up it ends up in your key right right away. Okay. So you don't want to punch anymore. This is more intermediate punching, fixed here, punching, punching like that. It's almost, almost like hard work. But if you if you twitch and drop, it's just like wow, it's like wow, it's fast, right? kind of a. So, first two words, twitch and drop. Okay. So let's try. Let's try. So the next, the next, thing, the next kind of two pieces of movement, two things to think about in movement. Okay. I'm mean, gonna use a different. I'm gonna use a different stance from here. So the next two two things. What are you doing? I'm using my like, uh, right? So when you turn right from here, you want you. What you want to do when you when you turn your stance, don't don't put your hand here, right? And turn and have your hand go out here around from here. When you start when you start to do your block, let let in your front of your techniques, let your hand have this, let your hand have this motion. Okay? Right? Okay. And see what happens to my torso? My tor my arm is whipping. It's gonna whip, right? My torso is waving. Right? Here? When I go Right, then I can turn. I can turn. Right, it's just because I'm using my bot, my my torso, my torso kind of has a has a wave, which is almost like the handle of a, a whip. Right? So the handle of the whip is kind of like the body's this on my arm. When I do this with my torso, my arm, my arm does this. It's very whip like. Right. So the other thing I want to think about. Okay, so let's let everybody come out. Right. So a little study. Last little thing I'll leave you with here. Everybody from here, just for no, I'll tell you. To practice, to practice this from here, do this mudra here. From here. Oh. I just do a short, right? Like that. A watch. This is to build, this is to build that resonance from here. So when I am gonna drop an inch and I'm gonna go like that. You can see, you can see, and you listen to it to the floor. Right? So when you do it properly, right, from here, your heels will come off the floor involuntarily, right? It's from here, like that, right? From here, then you drop, try that. Are you dropping so fast that they come up a little? Yeah, they just come up. And so you're, yeah. you're neutralized, and then, pow. Relax. So if there's a, there's a, <laughs> yeah. there's a one, of the, one of the things we're talking about to give people a mental image. I'm standing on a thin piece of ice. I don't want to break through from here. So what do I have to do to break through? Right, to break through, you would do this, right? You, you go break that. Right, stand here. This is a good thing to teach. Just break through the ice. And you feel that, you feel that. What happens, your abdomen goes boom, boom. There's a boom, boom, right? And that's it. Almost, almost, your core feels alive, right? That's right. oh, the little last thing I'll leave you with. When you do your kata, open your mouth. Drop your chin. You no, know, you might not find like that. But when you do, like, if you close, if you close your lips, you, 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 you purse your lips, you're tight. Right? But if you drop your jaw, open your mouth. The air will just. Since they told me, maybe 15% will go out, maybe 10. But it goes out. It just it goes out. You don't force it out. You don't breathe in. It's nothing. It's empty. Right? It's really a neutral thing. This is this is, and when you calm this down, this gets quieter. And you get more, you get more, you get more. 
So in your front end, you guys, think, think, think about the techniques, right? When you do, turn, turn in the air. Don't, 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 don't go one, two, and this. Watch my feet from here. Right turn. As soon as that foot touches, then you do this pushy thing that I described. You, it, you know, it just it makes karate fun. This is what I, it's like, wow, I just enjoy this now, right? Here. It's like a pleasure, right? You come, your, your movement has a life to it. It's fast. And you know the feeling? When you, get the, when you start to get a handle on this, the feeling is, it's like sometimes if you, if you stand fixed in a pipe and you punch, you can feel like I really can't. That's I can't punch faster. But when you do it this way, the speed feels open ended. It feels like okay from here. When you do it, it's like it doesn't feel like there's a cap on it. It feels like if I just really really tried it harder, it can go faster. It's a great feeling. Right? So, um, so a, pack, a little package of tactics, tactics of movement, as you can think about it, and start to to, to work away at. Sensei, yeah. just just so. The, the, the reason why we're